Hi my dears and happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Emma and I'm so happy you clicked on my what's for dinner video. I hope you love it. We'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I post a what's for dinner video every Sunday. They are for easy, affordable and delicious weeknight meals that I cooked the previous week for my husband and I. So let's just jump right on into this week's what's for dinner video. Everything I'm going to be using for tonight's dinner. We're going to start by bringing a pot of salted water to a boil. While that's boiling up in my sink here, I have put a strainer and we are going to use two cups of frozen corn. This is a two pound bag. One cup. Two cups of corn. And I'm just gonna run some water on the corn. All right, and we're just gonna keep that in there. All right, now we're going to make the dressing for our street corn pasta salad. So in my mixing bowl here, we're gonna add a couple of um, tablespoons of sour cream. I'm just gonna eyeball all the ingredients and then taste it when it's ready and see if I need to add anything else. So we're just gonna use a couple of tablespoons. One, two. Next, we're gonna use about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Oh, that's good enough. Next in goes two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. Next in goes a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of a garlic powder, three tablespoons of lime juice. I'm just gonna use a whole lime. And then I have another lime if I need to add more later. And then a little fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna give this a stir, stir, stir. All right, I'm just gonna leave this alone until our pasta is cooked. All right, our pasta water is boiling up. So I'm just gonna add some garden rotini. Use any pasta you want. That's in, but I'm actually gonna switch burners here. I'm gonna put it on this back burner. First, we're gonna give it a little stir, stir, stir. All right. Now I'm gonna start on our chicken. I'm just gonna use some thin cut chicken breasts. In my pan here, we're gonna heat up some oil. Okay, and it's just olive oil. All right, so here's what my chicken looks like. And I've taken out two paper plates here. And we're gonna use some of this um, Louisiana fish fry product. It's seasoned crispy chicken fry. We're gonna put some on one plate. And then on this plate, we're gonna add some along with a half a cup of ice cold water. And then it's gonna kind of mix this together. So now I'm gonna dip the chicken into this one first and then into that one. And then I'm gonna put them on another plate. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in, coat it. Okay. And then we're gonna dip it in this one. Right, now I'm gonna give it a little shake and then put it on our plate. Then I'm just gonna keep doing this for my four pieces of chicken. All right, now I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, 
done with that. First, I'm gonna give my pasta a little stir, stir, stir. That's almost done. Now we're gonna fry up our chicken. I'm gonna do two at a time. I'm gonna cook them for about five minutes each side. Okay, it's been five minutes, I'm gonna flip them. And then let them fry up on the side for five minutes. Meanwhile, back to our dressing, we're gonna add our corn. Add a spur. Then we're gonna add a half a cup of cilantro, about a cup of cheese, mozzarella. Give that a stir, stir, stir. Now I'm gonna join my pasta. I'm gonna add it in hot because I want my corn to warm up. And then I'm just gonna give that a stir. The street corn pasta salad is done. Now I'm just gonna put it in my fridge. And once my chicken was done, I just put it on a paper plate to drain off some of that oil. And then I'm just gonna cook up the last two pieces of chicken. Once I served it up, I just added a little extra lime onto the pasta salad and then some tahini, and this was absolutely delicious. Here it is served up. Definitely my favorite meal last week. Here is everything I'm going to be using for tonight's dinner. In my mixing bowl here, I'm going to start by adding 12 and a half ounces of chunk chicken breast. I'm going to open it and drain it. And I'm going to add that. I'm just going to try and break it up a little bit. Next, I'm just going to add some taco seasoning. Next, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of this Monterey Jack queso. One, two, give it a little stir, stir, stir. Over here in my fry pan, we're gonna heat up some oil. While the oil heats up, we are going to roll some of this chicken into some tortillas. All right, I've made six. We're gonna start frying them up. And while these fry up, I'll start making some more. I'll let them fry up on that side for about two minutes. Now let's see if we can flip them. Make a little salt. I'm just gonna let them cook up on this side for a few minutes. I have managed to make six more. So once these are done, I'll we'll fry up the others. So I'm just gonna put them on a plate, let them drain, while we cook up our other six. For toppings, I'm gonna cut up some lettuce and tomato. I just washed this. I just have some lettuce bolts. I'm gonna cut those up. Cut up my tomato, then we have some sour cream, some mozzarella, and some jalapenos for toppings. And then there they are all served up. About toppings, lettuce, sour cream, tomato, and jalapenos. Delicious. Here is everything I'm going to be using for tonight's dinner. In my slow cooker base here, I'm going to add a cup of water. And then my aunt sent me this Bisto American Hot and Spicy Gravy Granule Packet. So we're gonna test this out. So I'm gonna pour that in with the water. Give a little stir, stir, stir. 
Next, I have, I think there's like three chicken drumsticks in each of these Ziploc baggies. They are frozen, but I'm gonna throw them in. They are in, and I'm gonna pop the lid on. I put the chicken back on my Ninja Foodie base, and we are gonna slow cook this on low for eight hours. Once the chicken was done, I just took it out of the slow cooker and put it on a plate just to let it rest for a few minutes. Now back to the gravy. I'm going to add a little badia complete, a little garlic powder, and some heavy whipping cream. And I'm just going to give that a stir, 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 and pop the lid on and let that warm up. I want to use it to go over the chicken when I serve it up. But anyway, so for our side, I'm just going to make some of these mashed potatoes. And then here it is all served up. I just sprinkled some parsley on top along with some extra gravy. Delicious. Here is everything I'm going to be using for tonight's dinner. I'm going to start by browning up this 24 ounce package of ground pork. The ground pork is done. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of beef bouillon along with a cup of water. Give it a stir, stir, stir. Next, I'm gonna add a half a cup of frozen corn and about a cup of frozen pepper and onion blend vegetables. Give that a stir, stir, stir. And then I'm just gonna pop the lid on Turn the temperature down and just let those veggies cook up. Once everything is cooked, I'm just going to heat up some tortillas. And then time to build our tacos. I just put the tortillas on my little taco holders. I added some of that meat, some mozzarella cheese, and some sour cream. And that was it. Delicious. And that concludes this week's What's For Dinner video. I hope you guys loved it. We'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love for you to come back to my channel on Wednesday for my soup short. And then Friday for my puff pastry short. And then again next Sunday for another What's For Dinner video. Have a fabulous week. Bye.